Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save patterns, how to uh, export patterns, and how to import patterns into Adobe Photoshop. Uh, to start off with, let's just go ahead and create a document here. Uh, clicking on new file here, I'm just going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. And then I'm going to make sure our boards is not selected because we're going to use the pattern preview tool to create a pattern. And then and then resolution just 300 pixels per inch, color mode, RGB color, background content set to transparent, and then just click on create. Let's go ahead and create a simple pattern. So I'm going to grab a circle here, just hitting shift click, creating our circle, V for the move tool, and then I'll just orient it in the middle here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, command or control with the minus key. Uh, let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer. You can right click to, to duplicate the layer, clicking on OK, and then we'll just drag it here uh, to the corner. And then let's go ahead and turn on our pattern preview mode. So we'll go to view pattern preview uh, mode and that will automatically uh, repeat it here at the corners. Uh, when you have the uh, pattern preview mode here, you can save your pattern by going to edit define pattern here you have the option to give your pattern a name so let's just go ahead and polka dots and then we'll go ahead and save that here and then let's bring up our patterns panel here if you do not see your patterns panel you're going to go to window and select patterns here as we can see the newly created pattern here is highlighted in blue one thing to note that when you turn off your pattern preview mode, you'll no longer see the repeats here. If you want to uh, save your pattern as a uh, pattern swatch, um, you could easily just add a, a pattern adjustment layer uh, with your newly created pattern. And then you can save this as a swatch file, either as a PNG with the transparency, or you could add a solid color background layer We'll just make it white for the moment, dragging it down, and you could save this as a JPEG um, to have a swatch of your pattern. At coming to the patterns panel here again, you have the option to create folders to organize your um, patterns. So you can just create uh, a group, give it a group name, and then you can drag in your pattern here uh, to organize it um, in groups. Clicking off that there, you can also use this uh, plus, instead of going to edit define pattern, you could always go to the uh, plus icon and it will create a pattern uh, based off of what's on your document uh, there as well. If you want to save your patterns outside of Photoshop, um, in the case you want to share your patterns with others, or if you want to uh, put your patterns up for sale, um, to export it, you'll just click on uh, your patterns or your pattern group, and then clicking on the uh, icon here, you'll go to export selected patterns. Uh, navigate to the folder where you want to save it, and then you can just give it a name. And then just clicking on save to import a pattern you'll go to the same uh, icon here and then you'll click to import patterns uh, from here navigate to your folder and here we see our uh, saved pattern here we'll click on it here and uh, the file format for patterns in photoshop is .pat and then just click to open it here and then what we'll notice is we have a second copy here of our patterns and we see that when we went to save it, we called it my patterns and then inside it contained our group. So you could take this outside there and then just delete this um, created group here. And then you have your uh, saved patterns here. Thank you for watching this video on how to uh, save patterns in Adobe Photoshop. We also looked at how you can import patterns into Photoshop and how you can export and save uh, patterns outside of Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.